Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com, new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 19025 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring, uh, 20H1 build. And we're getting very close to the end of development of 20H1 because there are no feature changes coming to these builds now. I do like documenting the, the builds though, so I've got every build of Windows 10 right back to the very first previews. So in this video, I'm just going to talk through some of the changes that's in this build because there's not a huge amount to show you. In the blog post, Microsoft mentioned that they've improved the indexing in search with an improved algorithm so that the machine doesn't um, get performance issues when doing a, a, an indexing of the search. So when you go into search and start start typing for something, then um, it's got an intelligent algorithm that's, that's working in the background to index stuff. And uh, developers have got some options over how their uh, applications get indexed as well but end users aren't going to see those changes just they're going to see an improvement in performance in windows 10. Uh, the rest of the changes are all fixes actually there's only four known issues with this build but the fixes are um sandbox is now working as well i don't think i've got sandbox installed on this build i did have it installed at some point and you can see i did a video of it but uh, i don't have actually have it installed on this machine but that's now working uh, the VPN settings are now working. Um, they fixed some display issues with DPI. They fixed some uh, Windows Hello issues, uh, authentication issues. They fixed some issues with Timeline if you have um, the new Edge installed. I've got a bit of an empty timeline here, there, but there you go. Yeah, you can see more uh, timeline on there. They fixed an issue with some apps that were not updating with an error and they've fixed some narrator issues. So the known issues are still the anti-cheat, the BattleEye anti-cheat software, been going on for a while. Uh, settings still not being launched from a, a URL or a URI. Um, I'm not seeing that issue myself. And um, some printers not installing from optional updates. So if you go to optional updates and install um, a printer, then it's still showing it as an available uh, install. So you haven't got any optional in, um, updates to install, but if it did, they would show up here. But the the um, the issue is you install a printer and it still shows up as you need to install it. Also, there are some issues with external USB 3 drives that stop res uh, responding. Um, I've got a couple of drives, so I'm going to give that a test and we'll see how, how well that works. So I'll, uh, feedback on that later so that's all the changes with the build like i said not a huge amount of build i am, think this is just about done and they'll start on the next build um the next development 21 uh, h1 or 20 h2 second half of next year we'll see we might see those soon but you can follow along on the just lifestyle.com with all these builds on my twitter is at i and subscribe if you like the video